All right, here we go again. Flight number two added some carbon fiber rods to the vertical stabilizers. Don't know if that's gonna fix my issues, but we'll try. Where's the wind coming from? Yeah, I can't tell. I just went to flaps and it pretty much stalled on me. Flaps down. Yeah, I ripped the side a little bit. Yeah, we'll give it a go. Why not? Go flaps. A little low. See how it goes. Go with slats this time. As soon as you put the slats on, the nose comes right up. This is still uh, spoiler ons. That's what it is. I got the spoiler ons on. We'll come back and do another one with flaps. Nose comes down really hard with flaps. A lot more up elevator to keep it up. Flaps are still down, we'll go center. Get it back towards us. 
All right, flaps are coming on now. I think it's better with the spoiler ons versus the flaps. Go back to center. And we'll come back, do it again with spoiler ons. Ooh, the wind's pushing us pretty good. Not sure what the weight is on this, probably around the 16. Spoiler ons are on. 16 or so ounces. Super light, no KFs, no leading edge <clears throat> slats. <laughs> See if we can do another little high alpha with the uh, spoiler ones. And spoiler ones, nose goes up. I'm definitely steering with the rudder a lot. Feels pretty good. Doesn't like the wind at all. Other than looking really ugly, as far as the wing rock, it's probably the most effortless I've had for high alpha. It just sits there with those spoiler ons. Right off my hand. It's all right, just the nose, hopefully. Oh, the whole front bounced off my hand. Everything else is great. 